Howdy folks, how you going? Uh, quick catch up. I see a bunch of bottles here. No, I'm on the old on the old angle. Um, and I'm hoping the batteries will last on this. Sunday afternoon I've just sat down and I've blended up the combined batches of the simple corn mashes. I was doing the easy corn mash. Um, the three batches I did. I'll put links to the original to the original days. Uh, this is where I was using a bulk of flat corn and malted corn uh, and do basically doing a simple beer mash um, without all the drama of a, a full cereal mash or a full corn mash um, and seeing how it went. Um, you see from the original videos there was a little bit of trial and error to get it right but by the third batch had it down uh, and it was yeah, a fairly simple process. Um, certainly a hell of a lot easier than doing yeah, traditional corn mash. The question was, was it going to work? Um, now, I'm not sitting down going to taste these. I've actually I've gone for, I've blended all these up. I've tasted each different bottle as I've gone. So what I had was had the, I ran the three batches, done these, you know, stripping round on each, combined the three for a, for a spirit run. Uh, I got uh, it's around four litres, four and a half litres of 49% um, in the end. I oaked that over three different jars uh, with different variations of oak. Um, I Actually, I did keep one jar which is still sitting on the shelf. I haven't touched it, um, which was early in the run, um, 60, I think it's 63%. I've got it on some JD chunks um, and two... It was just one JD chunk and I think one heavy, one medium char um, domino. Uh, there's about 500 mil of that, and I'm just, and I've let it sit for another. I'm going to let it sit for another couple of weeks. These have all sat on the oak for seven weeks. Um, and I said it was varying oak. They were range from a light oak through to it's a medium, and then a bunch of uh, and then a heavier version. Um, and I've sat down and I've blended them all together and I've come up and I've got one, two, three, four, five full litre bottles uh, which range from 39% um, this fella which is heavily loaded with the lighter charcoal um, this one might get made into a honey bourbon a uh, couple at 42% um, and these, the three at 42% are all really really bloody nice um there's nice vanilla there's a nice nice little bits of oak um one's got a little bit of a little bit of bitey prickle just a tiny bit um because it carried a bit more of the lighter one which had a bit more prickle than the rest um but the three the three bottles are drinking really they're drinking really nice one at 41 percent which is sort of a middle range uh nice vanilla again but it's got um again it's got a little bit more tingle because it's got a little bit more of the uh that lighter barrel in it um i did bring in a little bit of my barrel aged two bottles of barrel aged stuff um which was from previous runs of <sighs> Well, where I was actually playing with doing full corn mashes, um, and I blended a little bit of those into some of these just to help stretch it out a little bit, um, and also to bring up some little bit of depth of flavour. But what I'm left with is uh, that bottle, which is I've boiled up to 55%. I used the straight. 49% cut of the heavy of the, of the darker oak, of the heavier oak, uh, and a little bit of each of those barrel aged versions, and that was to bring it up to 55%. And that that is really really nice, um, nice sweet, nice sweet notes, good 
corny note uh, with a little bit of just a little bit of bite from the high alcohol. Uh, and the final one is this one, which is in the end is the two those two barrel age barrels, which I've combined together. Um, 16.5%, one was 61, one was 60, um, and that is liquid gold. <laughs> that is up there with, you know, 90% of what you're going to go and buy in the bloody shops. Um, little burn, you know, little, little savoury note, little bit of cracker, vanilla, um, corn, you know, sweetness, yeah. Um, I'll have the colours come up there of the sun there. It's got a lovely, bloody, lovely red hue from the barrel. Um, yeah, but the big thing is um, I will, the, the, that pr the process has worked really well and it's making a really good whiskey. As I said, only seven weeks on oak. Um, so if you were to, to do this and actually put it into, into barrels, um, you, you're going to get an even you're going to get an even better product. Let it age, yeah, for 10, 12 months or even longer. Um, you're going to get an even better result. Uh, so for a fairly minimal effort on brew day or mash day, uh, getting good result. It's not high volume result. I mean, obviously this is like I said, one, two, five. Basically, without adding the barrel strength would have been about five litres um, all up you know, cut at bottle strength um, so not not a big turnover uh, but as I said the process was relatively you know, easy compared to doing a full core mash and all that sort of stuff uh, it's definitely a superior bourbon to doing just the basic Uncle Jesse's uh, and yeah, yeah you, you're doing, you, you are doing, yeah, considerably more work than what you do with an Uncle Jesse's, uh, but not, you're not stretching out to that bloody craziness that is, yeah, doing a full cereal and all the rest of it. Um, so, like I said, the links are there to the brew days. Um, have a look at, at those, see. <laughs> where it um the progress of where it went but um if you look at particularly brew day number three you get a bit of an idea of um, where that final mash is and where I'd, I'd be running with it on a regular basis if, you, if, if i was going to continue well, when i do continue and that's the process on um, that brew day number three that's the process i will be using yeah from now on uh so yeah it's turned out really well i'm really really happy uh, with how this is, um, essentially I've got somewhere in the vicinity of, yeah, probably, well at least $400 worth of bourbon um, from three batches of corn, which might have cost me, yeah, certainly wouldn't have cost me any more than 100 bucks uh, and a little bit of, a little bit of time in the bloody garage. Uh, so, yeah, that's a win. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, I said if you bump this up to doing even, you know, if you're doing bigger batches, running a bigger, you know, bigger brewing setup or a bigger, bigger still, then you're going to turn over way more and make it the economy going to get even better. Uh, so anyway, that's it. All good. Um, have a crack at it if you want. If you've got any comments or any questions, yeah, you know, as always, sticking down the bottom. Uh, patrons of the channel, thank you guys for your support. Um, yeah, helps me do it. Helps me do all this sort of stuff. Helps me play around and whatnot. Uh, if you're interested, there's a link down the bottom to Patreon. Uh, if you're subscribed to the channel, thank you very much. If you're not, hit the subscribe button. Uh, ring the little bell. Get notified whenever the new videos are coming up. Um, and if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. But that's me. That's little John for now. So, uh, till I see you on the next video. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Guys, cheers.